What's up guys, Chad with Character Club here. I got a new 12 volt fridge. It is a set power RV45S. This would be considered a budget refrigerator. Uh, you can pick this thing up for less than 400 bucks. Uh, comparable uh, name brand refrigerator like an ARB, a Dometic, you know, any of the, 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 the name brands are gonna run you close to $1,000. So almost double the price of a, a budget fridge um, but again you know is the trade-off worth worth it so yeah let's check this fridge out and see what it looks like okay so right out of the gate um, I like the color scheme I like this light gray with the yellow, with the black top. Uh, we have heavy duty latches here. Um, top opens up. Uh, one thing I did notice is there's no chain. So I don't know how this will hold up over time. Um, if you, you know, if the kids open this really quick and it slams back, I would definitely like to see a chain on this of some sort or something to stop it. And then inside, we've got two baskets. So a deep basket, user manual. Then we have, so it's nice to have both 12 volt and an AC option. So you could take this inside. What I do like about being able to run it off of a regular house outlet is that you could pre-chill this before you put it into the vehicle. Um, so you could you know, plug it in in your house, fill it up the night before, then it's super nice and cold. It's gonna be more efficient when a refrigerator starts up, that's when it's using most of its power trying to get down to temperature. So it's gonna run constantly probably for 30 or 40 minutes until it gets down to temperature. So I always like to pre-chill my refrigerator prior to going on a trip because it, it, it takes less toll on the battery. So something to think about. Let's back in. Nice size basket. Okay, so on this side we have the controls. You're gonna have the temperature uh, gauge here and then also your, your, your DC input. So this will be your input for both you know, DC or AC uh, power. Has a 15 amp fuse built in. Nice heavy duty spring close handles. Uh, here's your vent. For me, this is definitely a negative. This would be the back side of the refrigerator, and which is great because the, I want the plug in the back of the refrigerator. I don't want the plug showing out of the front when I'm taking it in and out of the, of you know, as I'm sliding it in and out on the drawer system. But I would like to see what the temperature gauge on the front side. So the fact that the temperature gauge is on the same side as the plug considering that I will use the opposite side as the front, um, I will not know what the temperature reading is. So that, that is definitely a disadvantage uh, for me. But overall, it's a good looking fridge. Um, let's go ahead and get some specs on it. All right, going with some specs right off of their website. This is a 47 quart refrigerator. It retails for 409, but like I said, there's always coupons. And I'll actually have a coupon code at the end of this video that you can, that, that'll make it so you'll get this thing for less than $400. It measures 27.3 inches wide. Um, it's gonna be 16 inches deep and 18.8 inches uh, tall. So it's very similar to the current refrigerator that I have as far as footprint and size wise. Um, temperature, you can go from zero degrees all the way up to uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can use it as a freezer or a refrigerator. It draws 85 watts and it, the weight is 46 pounds. You got free shipping, worry-free returns, warranty guarantee. Uh, 
Ah, this is what I was looking for. Okay, so they're, they're saying that this thing can hold 69 cans or 37 bottles of water or 28 bottles of wine, 750 mil uh, bottles of wine. So again, it's got good, good capacity, good storage. Uh, similar, it's actually a little bit more than the one that I have now. Like I said, similar footprint. You know, just recapping overall first looks on it. Um, I like the color scheme. I like the look. I like the handles. It's got little bumpers on the bottom. So overall, those are the positives for me, just on the first glance. Negatives are the panel, the display panel on the same side as the plug. Uh, negative would be, like I said, the hinges, possible break point. Uh, and then also, I need to point this out. This is brand new, never used this. And I do like this latching system, but this one is already pulling out. So you can see the flex on that. So again, that, that is a potential failure point. Remember when you're camping, you're overlanding, whatever you want to call it, you're going to be in and out of the refrigerator a bunch of times a day, especially me, I have three kids and they're constantly hungry, you know, thirsty. Um, so that we got to address. So for a size comparison, uh, you can see that it is slightly taller um, than my current refrigerator. So this is again, this, this is a Dometic CFX 40. Uh, this is the older uh, model. It's about the same overall length. The set power is just a little bit taller. And then I don't know if it's actually going to fit in my truck because of the height. All right, let's see. Overall looks good, um, but we got clearance issues here. It's not gonna clear uh, this, so I would have to take this off. Um, let's see. One of the nice things about this refrigerator is that it uses the same 12 volt plug that the Dometic uses. The negative is that I don't have enough room to reach this side. So, so yeah, unfortunately it, it is not gonna fit where my current refrigerator is in my truck uh, for height reasons and also the cable. And I, I just don't wanna get into taking all this apart um, because I can actually, I, I'm planning on testing this outside of the truck anyway. So what we're gonna do is bring this back over and we're gonna plug in the, we're gonna plug this into my goal zero and we're gonna see how long it takes to get down to temperature and then also what the draw is on the Yeti and then how much power it sucks out of the, the goal zero Okay, so I have the Goal Zero 500X. So we're at 65% battery right now. So what I wanna do is, I just wanna do a quick test on this. I wanna see, I'm gonna set this down to 34 degrees. It Right now it's probably close to 80, It's uh, I'm in South Florida, so it's close to 80 degrees ambient temperature. Um, we have 65% on this. And let's see how long it takes to get down to 34 inside the fridge and then also let's see how much it drains the goal zero going from room temperature down to 34 degrees. So let's go ahead and test that out now. Ooh, this is dusty. All right, so you can see here we have the goal zero at 65%. We're gonna turn on the 12 volt thing here. Plug this in, it only goes one way.
compressor kicked right on. We're going to set the compressor speed to max. Uh, put that at mid and then we're going to do the temperature like I said to 34 degrees. So just started the stopwatch. We're going to keep an eye on this, keep an eye on that and we'll be back shortly. In typical Florida fashion, whenever I'm trying to film anything, we get an awesome rainstorm. So we had to move the test inside. I had to disconnect the refrigerator for, it was less than a minute, move it into my garage. Uh, and let me give you an update where we are on the time and the temperature of the fridge. All right, so it's actually perfect timing uh, because we actually just hit 34 degrees. So we're at temperature uh, and the goal zero only went down 5%. So you can see the output stopped. So as soon as it got to its desired temperature, uh, it's, it stopped the compressor and stopped running effectively. Uh, and, and it only took 5% of this to actually get it down to temperature. Going inside, it is extremely cold all the way around. And then using my thermal is showing about 30, yeah, 34 degrees. You can see it right there. So there it is. It is in fact 34 degrees. Nice light. Uh, I forgot to mention that it does have an interior light, which is really nice. It's got a gasket all the way around to keep it, keep it shut. When I was going over the specs earlier, I didn't actually look at this, but it looks like it's got about two and a quarter of insulation on the sides and I would imagine the bottom. And then the top, you've got about an inch and five eighths of insulation on the top. So definitely less on the top. Uh, it is thicker in this middle portion here. Um, and it's basically like a roto molded uh, plastic top. The inside has like an aluminum skin inside the basket um, and it is not sealed so and there's no drain so do note it looks like fluids were in there it could potentially get down into the cracks all the way around so that would be a negative I would think as well so yeah overall first impression is that this is a it, this could be a potentially good uh, entry-level uh, budget refrigerator um, do know that you know it does have some flaws but it does have a lot of positives so uh, you know I'm gonna contact the the actual seller and see if they can send me out a new lid uh, because like I said that you know this is definitely going to th that is definitely going to pull out or be a factor uh, in the future um, so we'll see how the warranty goes and I'll definitely let you guys know you know a little little more long term on this refrigerator. Overall, I like it. I like the design. I like the color scheme. I like the fact that it was able to, you know, get down to temperature uh, off the goal zero and only use 5% of the actual um, goal zero. So that was great. I did forget to mention it took, it, it only took 33 minutes. It took 33 minutes to go from 80 degrees down to 34 degrees. So <laughs> I did forget to show the stopwatch. So let me go ahead and do that now. Right now it's at the 40 minute mark, but it actually was down to temperature. It was around 33, 34 minutes because um, I actually looked at my watch prior to filming. So I forgot to add that in. So it took about 34 minutes or so to go from 80 down to 34. Only used 5%. You can still see that hasn't changed at all. Um, it's holding at 32 degrees right now. Read 32 degrees off my thermal thermometer. Might as well end off the video right where we started behind the fridge. Uh, overall, I like the design. I like the the size of it. I think it's got a good uh, storage capacity um, for the value. 
I think it could be a great option for a you know entry level or budget refrigerator to get get started. And I would say if you're you know I, the reality is if I was in the market for buying a cooler that was three hundred fifty dollars or I had this option, I would I'd buy this all day long because this could still act as a cooler. I mean, it is as insulated as a I would say as my my uh, my Yeti. 45 and it's it's actually probably smaller than it and I you know you could actually you fill this thing with ice the only thing it doesn't have is the drain on the inside so that would be a potential issue but again if I was going to spend the money 350 dollars you know around 350 dollars for a cooler or a refrigerator I'm going with the refrigerator all day long I want to say thank you to set power for sending this out for me to test um, I hope you guys like this review you know, I'm I'm going to be honest and straight up with 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 my first looks on products and also reviews. And this is actually this is not a review. This is a first look, overall first look. I would probably score this uh, in the in a B B range. You know, B B minus, and only because of this. But I know that this can be replaced. So if they can get me out a new lid, I could bump this up probably a solid B or a B plus you know and that's just first glance i haven't tested this i haven't used it so i don't know long term how it's going to be um, but overall i you know i like the fact that it didn't take much power to get it down to 34 degrees i like the fact that it only took around 30 minutes uh, to get it down to uh, temperature and yeah i mean let's let's see how this thing holds up i'm excited to test it out and let you guys know and then as i get more gear and more products i'm going to show it to you guys you know what I like about it what I don't like thank you very much for watching if you like this if you thought this was helpful go ahead and hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you can um, I do appreciate it and we'll see you guys in the next video